He's still trying to outturn it. And we just lost him on passive sonar, so let's activate the active. And there he is. That was a pretty good move. I'm pretty impressed with that, but uh, not today, I'm afraid. Alpha down. G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags and welcome back to the South China Sea campaign. So since the last video we have returned to base, managed to get our Seawolf replenished and repaired and of course we have received a new mission and this time once again we are heading out to stop an invasion fleet, this one aimed at the Spratly Islands. Now the trip into the operations area was pretty clean although we did encounter one Alpha on the way in the um the alpha was completely alone it's one of the things i've noticed with some of the submarine patrols in the south china sea campaign in the soviet campaign you tend to or the the, the nato campaign 1984 you tend to encounter multiple submarines together that doesn't really happen so much in the chinese campaign solo submarine encounters do tend to be fairly normal and i haven't really encountered much in the way of advanced submarines i've encountered one kilo and two alphas at this point in time now the Kilo and the Alphas are not horrible submarines by any means, but you know, I'm driving a Seawolf. I would have expected maybe Sierras or something to have popped up at some point, but nothing, at least nothing yet. Anyways, ladies and gents, at this point we're about to begin our attack on the convoy. I hope you enjoy. Right. So, we're going to fire Tube 2 directly north. We're at zero range on active. Okay, torpedo is away. And they were negative 20 on the passive, so they shouldn't have heard that shot. Now we're going to let that torpedo head north. Uh, as I said before, we're going to let it get uh, a little bit away from the Seawolf, and then we're going to turn it in to take out the first of the escorts. Now once it's clear, eventually this uh, the Sierra 2 is going to detect this torpedo. And when it does, the entire fleet's going to be alerted. So, right, now the heading adjustment there hopefully shouldn't break the wire. And we're going to get ready. travel time. The problem here is going to be not hitting that merchant by the time the torpedoes actually make it into this group. But regardless, tube 5, torpedo away, 6 gone, 7 is away, and out with tube 8. Nothing should be close enough to have heard all of that either. Now we cannot change course now. We've got two torpedoes out, or torpedoes out on each side of the submarine. So any maneuvers is probably going to break wires at this point. So just hold heading, hold speed, five knots sustained, we're good. Turning the first in. Now I want to spread these out like a little bit of a fan at this point. And we'll, there we go. Torpedo 2 has acquired. And at the moment, Sierra 2... Oh, nope, there it goes. It's just dropped the noisemaker. So it's just realized the torpedo's there. Maneuvers should be about to start for the entire fleet as they realize they're under attack. And Sierra 2's dumped a torpedo. And the torpedo looks like it's heading more closely towards their fleet than me. They have no friggin' idea where I am. No matter. 
ammo. So we want to move six here and get it past the mer merchant before it activates. The rest of these torpedoes are all going to start activating together. Now we're going to manually use... There you go, Sierra 2. Beautiful. We're going to use manual torpedo control to adjust the headings on each of these. Let's bring... There we go. Eight around on that heading. Actually, let's adjust. We'll adjust seven. And then... We'll leave eight. We'll move five. And switch it out. So, six I'm going to try and get through to hit Sierra six. Five, I'm going for Sierra 7. 7 is going to go for either Sierra 1 or Sierra 5, as is 8. And we'll see exactly which torpedoes hit the area first. That's interesting. That's required Sierra 1 or Sierra 5, so they're much closer than I was expecting. So we'll keep 5 moving this way. Leave 7 alone. There we go, Sierra 1, much closer than we thought it was. If we're lucky, that Soviet torpedo will acquire one of the targets as well. Alright, 8. 888, eight, eight. you're tracking on Sierra 1 as well. We don't want you to do that. I need you to get past Sierra 1. Come on. That'll do. No, no, no. Stay. There we go. Five's acquired Sierra 7. Do a heading adjustment to get our torpedo onto Sierra 6. Impact on Sierra 1. That should have picked up the. There it is. Alright, so first of the transports have been eliminated. One of the escorts is down. Torpedoes are inbound on the rest. So, with Sierra 1 eliminated, we can turn 8 in, and hopefully, we'll pick up Sierra 5. Yeah, we'll confirm that is a merchant vessel, so we don't have to worry about that one. That's just, uh... Yep, and we have a trawler. So yeah, those are just two boats, wrong place, wrong time, just doing their thing, just unfortunately got caught. There's CR7. It's a shame I can't get an angle of this in the 3D view from the surface where you can see all the ships just watching them start exploding one after another as each of these torpedoes acquires and takes out the targets. Massive spreads like this, massive hook shots uh, off-center targeting spreads are kind of fantastic. Anyways, Torpedo 2 is now prepared. Sierra 5 gone, and Tube 3 is now also clear. Alright, so Tube 2 is heading for Sierra 4, and Sierra 3 is being targeted by Tube 3. Looks like Sierra 6 is just about to go, which means the last of the transports that I can see... Boom. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, this is just so wrong. So, anyways, there's two torpedoes heading for the escorts, and at this point there is only one transport that we've missed, and we don't actually have a connection to it at this point. So, reload there. 
How are we going to deal with this? There's a lot of waiting in these kind of attacks because we're so far away from our targets, uh, target, um, target surface vessels. The torpedo travel time is actually fairly long. It's four to five minutes for a torpedo to hit its actual target. There's nothing fast that's happening here. We're not at close range by any means. I mean, at the moment, you can see Torpedo 3 is only well, less than halfway to the activation point that I've given it, and it's nearly 6 kiloyards from my submarine already. Alright, yeah, I thought so. Sierra 8 is way out there. So, let's change the reload on Tube 8 to an anti-ship missile. Once Torpedo 2 and 3 take out their targets, at that point I should be safe to surface the vessel and pop the radar, just to get a confirmed location on Sierra 8, make sure it's nicely locked down, and then I'll just take it out with the missile, and save chasing it down. The hell? We have helicopters. Alright, Torpedo 2 has acquired. And given that I'm focused on to this torpedo at the moment, I would say, although I can't hear it here, Gonna say, I'd say that torp uh, that, that helicopter is probably launched from this destroyer or from this escort from Sierra 4. Oh, I'm not concerned. It's an anti submarine warfare helicopter, but it'll have no idea where to look for me, so that's fine. Um, could add a little bit of risk to oh, boom. I could add a little bit of a risk to when I pop that radar, though, but we'll see what happens. It's a Sierra 4. This is an odd bug. Oh, that's better. Okay, so, anyways. Sierra 4 has been eliminated, so now we're just waiting on Torpedo 3. And it looks like our anti-ship missile is just about loaded. Good, tube 8 is loaded and ready to go. And we've got 95% solution on our ship, so we know exactly where it is. Let's just watch this one come in. At the moment, it still hasn't reacted. It has no idea the torpedo is coming in, even though it is actively pinging. There it is, noisemakers out. These torpedoes can get so close, even with active sonar, before these surface ships actually realize they're there. So if we can get a really good shot of the torpedo coming in here. I don't think we'll need to manually control anything here, it should be fine. Another noisemaker. Well, it's turning the torpedo around quite a bit. Maybe we're not going to get that cinematic boom after all. Where is it? Alright, it's turning back in. And weapons reacquired. Oh, don't disappoint me this time.
It's dropped another noisemaker, hasn't it? Torpedo is reacquired. Another noisemaker. <laughs> this bastard may actually avoid this torpedo. Yeah, I haven't heard of reacquired. Alright, you know what? Stuff it. Manual control. You know, turn it through. Get it in between the two noise and another noisemaker. <laughs> I want to live, says Sierra 3. Not happening. Come on. Where is it? There it is. Acquired. You're not dodging this shot. Cheeky little bastard. I'm impressed. That was well done. It almost bet the torpedo. If I hadn't have taken control of that, it would have managed to dodge that torpedo. Well, now we have one more ship left to deal with. So we've got Sierra 8, which is slowly escaping. We've got most of a contact with her at this point. But I do want to confirm the shot when I'm firing a missile. So depth set to 45, periscope depth. lost contact again right 78 77 so we're almost in position now hopefully the helicopter has pissed off at this point so it's not going to bother us So, first things first, once we're in position, ESM mast. Something still floating around up here that can detect us. We got confirmation on the merchant. No detection on the trawler, no detection on Sierra 8 with radar. If we haven't got it already, we're not going to get it. Come on, detect it. You know, if we haven't got it already, we're not going to get it. Doesn't matter. I don't think there's anything on the surface that can actually detect us at this point. I think we were picking up the helicopter. So, let's get ourselves 250 feet as fast as we can and clear out of that zone. We're going to have to chase down Sierra 8 ourselves. Just have to make sure we're clear of where we poked up the radar because I expect... What do you know? Let's make debt 500. Yeah, I, th I thought that might happen. I thought we might attack the attention of that helicopter if it was still floating around up there. Okay, and torpedo in. 
yeah, 35 knots cavitating and we just poked up a radar to give away our position, so absolutely no surprise that it managed to locate us, so countermeasure is away. Torpedo appears to be ignoring the countermeasure completely at this point. Maintaining 34 knots, so the close speed is very low here. And the knuckle caused a maneuver, rather. So what I'm going to try and do is turn underneath the torpedo when it makes its turn back. Nope, it's gone into a dive. I'm trying to pull myself out of the torpedo search cone. I'm getting too deep too fast here. But it looks like we're going to manage to dodge it on this pass, which is nice. Alright, so reverse our turn. I'm going to try and bank over the top of it. Okay, now we need to get to the surface as fast as we possibly can so when it completes its turn back, it doesn't acquire us. We're outside of its search cone. Yep, it's turning away still. But I think we're good. Alright, so that should be us clear. Send for Sierra 8. Yeah, torpedo still appears to be in a left hand turn searching. Has not turned right. And there's a self destruct. Okay, so that's it. So, after outmaneuvering the airdrop torpedo, I decided it probably wasn't such a great idea to go back to the surface and pop the radar mast again. So, instead, we did it the old fashioned way. It took about five minutes on fast travel, which would probably have been closer to a 10 to 15 minute trip in normal time in order to manage to track down our target. The transport was maintaining a straight course and exactly the path that it was heading previously, so it wasn't too difficult, just time consuming. One torpedo on its way as soon as it impacts, that is the last target we have to take down, and our mission here is complete. Transports and escorts together, we eliminated eight targets in this mission, not including the Alpha class that we had to take out on the way here. The whole mission was completed with just torpedoes, and we still have 25 on board, so at this point we have no reason to actually go back for replenishment at this time. And of course this was our target, so mission is completed, we are now waiting for the orders. And once again we got ourselves into the newspapers with this particular success. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. As always, remember to check the video description down below for links to my Patreon. Massive shout out to all of my Patreon supporters, the channel wouldn't be possible without you guys. Also, links to my Twitch and all of my social media are in the video description down below as well. And as always, remember to click that like button, share and subscribe if you would like to see more, and until next time, take care.